Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about how to make a turkey saddle, which you can also make a chicken saddle with the same pattern. And um, what was happening was I have two bronze breasted hens here and um, they have their boyfriend, which is a blue slate Jake. And what was happening was he was getting very excited with them and was a little bit confused on what he was supposed to do. And he was stepping on her, her name is girlfriend, and he was um, making her bald, her back completely bald as well as leaving gash marks and cuts in her back. So I ended up taking her up to my home for about a week. I put salve on it. I washed it really well and I was giving her some vitamin supplements just to help her go ahead and heal. And in the meantime, I knew that she wanted to come back down here. My, um, it's winter in Northeast Ohio, so our house was really warm, and um, she was getting she was getting pretty hot at night when our um, wood burner would go ahead uh, and heat up. So I wanted to get her back down to the coop and to join her friends as soon as possible. So what I decided to do was um, I looked online and I found some um, chicken saddles for hens. But unfortunately, even an extra large would not fit a turkey. And the hen saddle still ranged probably between $15 to $25. And I just did not want to spend that on something that may not fit. So I looked and found a pattern online that you take fleece material because it does dry quicker and it's comfy. And essentially, you just cut two slit marks in it for her wings and then um, you seal it in her front. So what I did was... Um, I made this very quickly. It literally took me probably five minutes. Um, and I measured the circumference around her body to get the length of the material. And again, this was an old blanket I had cut up. Then I made um, two additional measurements that are pretty critical in making one of these. So you have to measure um, between her wings. And you want to measure where the wings attach the body because that is um, the narrowest part of her wing. So I measured from here to here. And then my second measurement was from her neck to where that line was, um, where you measured from wing to wing. So the second measurement was from the base of her neck. I'm waiting for her to stand up. The base of her neck down to that invisible line from wing to wing. So two measurements, wing to wing, and that invisible line up to where the base of her neck is. So then what I was able to do was I was able to take my uh, fabric that I had cut, again, based on the circumference of her body, and um, so from there I went ahead and um, found the center of the piece of material, and I cut um, about an inch and a half to two inch slits where her wings went. And then um, from there, I had my husband go ahead, and he helped me put it on her. So I did one wing at a time, this wing, then that wing. And since fleece does give a little, it was able to stretch to be able to fit over both of her wings. But it fits snug enough that um, it wasn't going to gap or get real loose in the middle. So I do not sew. So, um, and again, I did this in five minutes. So I wanted to determine how I was actually going to get this to stay on her. So my husband had an old pair of boots, and we ended up getting a shoelace off of his pair of boots. And then in the front of it, it, it was laced up almost like a corset. So I'm going to see if I can um, get a picture of it here for you to see. But this uh, assured it so it would fit nice and snug. Um, and again, it could be used then for my other turkey if she may be a little bit uh, heavier or a little bit wider. And um, here, girl show everybody your corset lace so um, here is kind of the lacing of her corset and um, I would recommend being a little more generous on your lace holes than what I did um, I would probably try to lace it up from her belly up to maybe closer to her neck to stay on this has actually been on her for an entire week and it has not moved at all so it, it fits her just like a little jacket. It prevents her poor little back from getting scraped and cut from our jig snails. And um, lastly, once it was on her and she was down here, I did cut these sides just a little bit over here. 
and I cut it on this side as well just a little bit so it doesn't overhang behind her butthole because you don't want her to poop on it and then it becomes it gets a mess so so far so good it stayed on her a week and um, if you have any questions I would be happy to do an actual video of me making another one of these but um, there's no point I guess if nobody if nobody's super interested um, I will um, not make another one but uh, feel free to leave me comments i would be uh, happy to answer any of them and please subscribe to my channel and i hope you have a wonderful day <coughs>